pretty good. Something like this. This instead and get physique. But yeah, be sure to stop on by. I am really glad we switched. We are easily going to reach the physique cap on this turn. Tiny, tiny, tiny loss. Alright, are we doing Musician or we actually have a sick Physique start? What if we try just Physiquing again? The Musician build is going to be not great against the Tigers. With Anti-Chase it is though. Whatever, we'll do Musician, we'll do Musician. We'll do mu Musician. We will save all of our rolls to tier 3 from here. All of our rolls to tier 3. So it's just this. This looks pretty sick. Wait, why do we not have chi- Oh, it's spending a chi on that! Whoops! Look away, everyone. Brother's making a mistake. Don't watch. I forgot that this has chi spending on it. Why we were doing the sequencing, right? You know, if I didn't fuck that up, that would have been a good play. If I didn't do that horribly, that would have been great. Um, I don't think we need unceasing exercising. I think we can actually just do this. Okay, so we're doing this instead, and that looks more reasonable. So one thing I really like about Physique is that your HP gain effects are always relevant, because you just always have empty HP to heal. Ooh, wound right into that was not great. But we're fine. Ijan is back. Oh look, there's, there's our pretty 9 evil rep sprite. Said, I don't think we're taking any of these. I'm gonna roll on three. I'm enjoying the new stuff a lot so far. I am having a blast with it. Physique is a really fun mechanic. Agility is a really fun mechanic. Both those are great. Crash Fist has some really, really fun sequencing you can do, and it's less restrictive than Cloud Sword. Yeah, luck being gone is fantastic. We really, really like that. That was a nice early breakthrough. Um, I mean, this is starting to get ridiculous, right? Those in tandem together is actually crazy. Uh, we're definitely rolling now that we're on three. Also, what was in the shop? Just a bunch of exchange chances. Great. 
始吧，抓紧时间。We need to find Bone Day. That's the big thing we're missing right now, is we really need Bone Day. Keep up with our physique stacking. This feels really strong. Yeah, we need we need Bone Day really, really badly right now. That's our big focus. Is a okay substitute. We might just be going back to that, to be honest. Okay. Probably doing the poison build, but we do have some very interesting physique options going on here. I need to be stacking more physique. That's going to hurt, and I want to make sure we aren't wounding into that. So, might even just do something like this. That's going to hurt, and I think we're going to lose this one. I think I just wounded back into that. <laughs> I think I just did exactly what I said I did what I do. Okay, she's going first, we're fine. Where's Bone Day? Our physique is just not keeping up right now. Ow, please stop. You're hurting me. Please stop. That's a lot of damage we're gonna take here. Isn't every day bone day? Seems like it. There we go. Now it's bone day. We got bone day. We're good. Okay, so we're gaining three, four, five, six. I need to gain a lot more than six. I'm just throwing another one of these in here. We're greeting. We're greeting. Whatever. I should probably be playing that, but that's fine. I need a lot more physique right now. We did not keep up with what I want. Don't multi-hit, thank you. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. There we go. Okay. This is reasonable now. I mean, am I just going for Zeke? We're a musician and I want to go Heartbreak tune, but like, we are getting the physique, the crazy physique set up. Also good though. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take it. Oh, that's fantastic. I don't even know if I need kindness tune here. I don't think I need kindness tune here. I think we might just be able to beat him. We're very, very strong here. Yeah, yeah, we're doing self injure stuff is one of the things she does.
Ooh, that's not applying wound to our opponent anymore. That's bad. That's bad. We win if that applied wound instead of the internal injury, but it applied the internal injury instead, which is a lot worse. Okay, so this is not good anymore. We can get rid of both of those. Start just doing more crazy physique stacking stuff? I don't know. There we are. Soul Seizing is exactly what we want. Did I just get rid of my only Chi Generator as I picked up Soul Seizing? What an idiot. <laughs> what an idiot. What a... What a play. What a choice. What an incredible choice we just made there. I don't know. I. Sorry, I just turned my brain off so much there. We got Soul Seizing, and I just immediately got rid of the Chi I can use to play it. I threw that one. I threw that one. But it's okay, we're just getting extra exchanges out of our passive. That's what we're doing. We're not throwing, we are losing with style. Great footwork is incredible. I'm never going back to Kindness Tune. Full seizing is very incredible. We definitely want to keep the entangle. I need the Chi generator again. Definitely might be Stixing in this build. I think we can get rid of Exercise Fist. That is a Chi Generator, but that is not a great Chi Generator. I guess it lets us double Soul Seize. This in here as well. Uh, uh, where's my card? I, I am playing so bad because I don't know this stuff yet. That's so embarrassing. I couldn't, I couldn't find, because I don't know what these cards look like yet, because it's our first time ever using them. I'm like, where's my card that generates chi? I just picked it up. I have to read the text of every single card I'm playing. Yikes. This would be great if instead of that being Entangle, this was Soul Seizing, or the, the Chi Generator. Okay, Soul Seizing is still crazy, even if we're having to spend a turn to play it. This is definitely the card we're looking to do our payoffs with, and it shows. That looks really, really good. We absolutely need to get another Heartbreak Tune. That's wild, right? Uh, but it has to be this. As good as as good as this is, I think it has to be this. We're playing with new toys, right? So we broke the return early, which is crazy cool. That's incredible. That's so good. That's so good. That actually solved all of our issues. Chase even harder. Seems even better. That does seem even better. 
，快开始吧，抓紧时间。Why is Nine Evil Shining? Uh, and it's also a different art as well. It's because uh, they added alternate card arts in the game now. Bones seems relevant. Good point. I'm not attacking anymore. Bones can go. I do want to keep gaining physique, but we can just do it through Exercise Barrow now. Bones is not the way to do it. This card is crazy good. Okay, this is this is good. I'm liking this. It took us a moment to turn our brain on enough to get there, but now that we got there, it feels really, really good. We're already full chasing because we can never go off of... Uh... Yeah, we don't care about attacking, so that's not even the downside. I guess we do just upgrade this. What, we're doing this now? <laughs> that seems really funny. This seems incredible, actually. Wait. I really wish this was level 2. That's the one thing we're missing right now, is this being level 2. Other than that, this seems fantastic. We do want to keep this, because we might eventually want to give our opponents Entangled. Don't think we're ever playing this. I don't think we're ever playing this or this or this. Might be able to go first against Tiger. Uh, anti Chi can absolutely break both these builds. This is looking good. I like this. We are not going first, but that's fine. We need an upgrade to Heartbreak. New healer build just dropped. Are we going to tempt you to come back, Motive? <laughs> There's Concentric. Are we ever playing three separate Soul Seasings? Probably not. Three separate Soul Seasings seems like a lot. I think at that point we're fitting in a concentric, so I think we can just upgrade that. Probably have to keep everything we're working on right now. This all seems fine. I think we're pretty effortlessly beating that build. I need this to upgrade. Tekken 8 is on Friday. Dude, there's so many good games coming out. I The big one I'm hyped for right now is Grand Blue Relink. Um, which is in nine days, roughly. <laughs> I'm just encouraging you to, uh, to make an even better video. Also, we're less than a month out from last Epoch 1.0. I am a tanky girl. I am thick with it. Like, we're not taking damage, we're healing. Uh, he's also not dealing damage, to be fair. This is kind of not a fair one to talk about. This seems really good to add in. We need to accelerate. 
probably worth adding in. They good work on this patch? Yeah, I'm having a good time with it. I mean, I think we're pretty effortlessly beating that one. Your health. I'll take it. Hmm, yes. More health. Fine. I'm digging the vibe of this build. I don't know how good it is, but it's really, really fun to play. That's a huge pickup. Also great, but also maxing this is great. I think the soul seizing is even well it's three more HP versus how does that upgrade? It would go up to sixteen percent of our max HP. Sixteen percent of our max HP right now is thirty-two HP. I think this is even better, honestly. Kinda wild. that important in any matchup. I mean, it's decent in this matchup. I don't think it's that important. He's not really doing the attack scaling stuff. We can also just defeat him by playing Nine Evil. Like, Nine Evil defeats him on the spot. I wonder how Nine Evil does here. Nine Evil here is also pretty nutty, right? But the internal entry is also really good here. Crap. Why are they both so good? I don't think we're ever doing this. Nine Evil might just be better than Shura here. I think Nine Evil has to be better than Shura here. Yeah. Shura might be better than Exercise, but I don't think it is. Nine Evil in this matchup just seems broken. I don't see how we're losing this fight. This fight seems incredibly in our favor. Fun. I really like Soul Seizing. As well at this point. There's Predicament. Does this even get better? Not really. Because we always have to play this. So we always have to play at least three chases. So yeah, this this can roll. Same here, this doesn't actually get better. It's one HP better, but Sure. 
Sure, it also gives chi. Oh, sure, it does also give chi. Okay. I forgot about that part. We could definitely have done something else here. Concentric should probably be on the board. I forgot sure also gives chi. As I said, we are very much learning right now. I'm surprised he didn't care at all about us playing uh, fee removal. Actually kind of terrifying that he just didn't care at all. Uh, but stalling is not how you beat this board. Stalling is not how you beat this board. Goodbye. Man, so if we had... If we had kept the upgrades, we still wouldn't have had enough to upgrade right now. Uh, so we just anti-chase this and win, right? Like, it's actually just effortless. He's going first, so we have to play it on two. But we just anti-chase it and the fight's over. You could even let him go three, and then we don't have to, uh... How much is this giving? Should give eight, right? I'll give eight. Then we can just soul seize, soul seize, soul seize. Oh, uh, well, no, we need a bit more chi gen. Okay, if I need a bit more chi gen, then I should probably just do this. Just to be safe. I don't know. Concentric. Win. That seems like a board, right? I have two internal for my passive. Yeah, but if I'm putting in Concentric and another Soul Seize, I don't think this is ever enough. Yeah, but I'm spending uh, 7 Chi, so I'm just going to go for it. I don't think we're going to second cycle anyways. Second cycle does not seem like a thing we're doing here. Anti-chasing seems like the thing we're doing here. Anti-chasing and stealing all of his HP. You ready for me to just start biting this guy? I'm going feral. 